Here, 10 Tampa Bay's Madison Allworth spent the day at MLK Junior Boulevard and 22nd Street in Tampa, where protesters clashed with police before and after the 7.30 p.m. curfew. And Madison, how have things been out there recently? Things have calmed down here at Cyrus Green Park in Tampa. Clashes began before the 7.30 p.m. curfew hit, and then once it did hit, things got worse. We've been in the area of Cyrus Green Park since the peaceful Black Lives Matter march this afternoon. But after the march was done, some of the protesters took to the streets, closing down the intersection of North 22nd Street and MLK Jr. Boulevard. Police broke up that crowd, but it soon reformed. By 7 p.m., protesters had set fire to tires in the middle of the intersection. Protesters continued to add more to the fire as they spray painted the street. When the 7.30 curfew hit, everyone was still there. They made their way to the Tampa Police District 3 station a couple of blocks away. That is when things got more violent. Protesters confronted a line of police officers. Protesters began throwing rocks, soda cans, and bottles. The police responded with rubber bullets, pepper spray, and smoke bombs. Again, this was now well after the 7.30 p.m. curfew. Police moved their line to the street and started to push protesters back. When protesters didn't move, force was used. Police continued to push people back to MLK and 22nd, where much of this area's violence has been focused. As you can see, the intersection is mostly clear, and it's been this way since roughly 8 p.m. 